Artho Chronicles, Solo Leveling, The Seven Deadly Sins Origin, and now RF Project. I do not know where all of this momentum is coming from, but Netmarble are knocking out more MMOs and RPGs this year than I think any other developer. And each and every single title not only looks incredibly unique with their own specific style and aesthetic, but they're from already established intellectual properties. Hey, my name is Styx, and I am genuinely surprised to see that there is a brand new RF MMORPG currently in development. If this is your first time here and you're interested in what you see, make sure to go down, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to be kept up to date with everything that I post. Quick shout out to our patrons over on Patreon. You guys are all amazing. It is humbling to see people willing to support you in any way, whether it be something as simple as a like or a comment or even a view. Now, before we go ahead here and delve into what RF Project is, Let's go ahead and take a look at their trailer that they released during their press release late last month. There's no way that this can be, that this is actual in-game footage, right? There's no way. Cause this looks this looks absolutely nothing like the RF online that I played back in the mid 2000s. This kinda this this looks reminiscent of of Warframe or or Anthem or Destiny. This is unbelievably gory. And look at all those players. Look at the, the size of that boss. Seriously, this is what we need out of a sci-fi MMO. We need to be able to have these, these enormous, gigantic monoliths of a monster. And then we need to have 10, 50, 200 people all rushing to engage the boss because it genuinely requires that many players. So as is evident, this is a very, very different RF than the RF online that was released all the way back in 2004. RF was a very basic sci-fi MMO, a very hard game at times, but nevertheless, still a very basic, very traditional MMO. It was slow, it had tab target combat. Honestly, it looked pretty good given when it was released. RF Project, though, is taking this game in a direction that I, I can safely say nobody saw coming. This game kind of looks like Anthem if EA Games hadn't messed that game up, and if Anthem were a large-scale MMO. According to the little bit of information that we have at present, Netmarble have absolutely no intentions of changing the core game. It is going to retain its science fiction theme. You'll have large scale realm versus realm PVP battles. It's going to feature giant mechs. You're going to be capable of wielding enormous weapons. Although while the core of the game is going to be rebuilt from the ground up, they did want to stress that this is going to differ from the original to a degree. They want to introduce features into RF that were never present in previous incarnations of the game. And that statement right there, that statement alone has me a little bit concerned, a little bit disconcerted because they were very, very vague with regards to what exactly that means. Netmarble, as an example here, might take a formula that worked and warp it into something much more predatory, as has been done many times in the past with games like Blade and Soul 2, the Lineage Mobile MMOs, Ion 2. Now, I am not saying that this is the ultimate definitive future for the game, but when they go on to give you vague statements like, we'll keep things the same to build off of nostalgia, but also different enough where it's a completely different game, you have to wonder what the future of the game looks like to them. Especially given that this is going to be completely cross-platform compatible between both PC and mobile devices. Which realistically, given how damn good that trailer looked, leaves me a little bit baffled as to how that's going to be possible unless it's being built separately for each respective platform. Regardless, the trailer, it, it looked pretty sick. 
you cannot watch that and not think that. The info we have sounds good. A little bit concerning, but good nonetheless. I'm excited that Netmarble are developing so many different games this year. Games that all look incredible in their own unique way. But at the end of the day, I am kind of curious here how many of them are going to turn out as good games and how many of them are going to stand the test of time. Now, if you are curious about any of the other games that they're working on, games that I've covered over the course of the last couple weeks, you can go ahead and, well, click the videos that are on screen right now.